first, let me get your reaction. The president said no one party will be able to dictate where we go from here. Your reaction? Well, I think that's an accurate statement. You know, the president always is a polished performer and a, you know, somebody that uh, it's a pleasure to listen to. However, I thought, uh, I, I think sometimes he doesn't live in the real world. For instance, uh, he just basically turned over all of these very tough issues to Nancy Pelosi and her team and Harry Reid and his team with White House help and ve with very little committee work, very little oversight, very little, uh, you know, effective approaches and then just let the, the Congress do what it wanted to. Well, it's got to take presidential leadership. And look, everybody knows that it's limited government, it's spending, and it's high taxing. Stupid. That's what it is. And, well, the and president uh, appeared this to president's got to wake to make, up to that. The president appeared, uh, by all accounts, to be ready to make concessions when it comes to the Bush tax cuts. You will likely lead the Republican senators and the Finance Committee. Do you see wiggle room when it comes to tax cuts? No, I don't. And they're not really tax cuts. They're, they want to increase taxes. We already have the tax relief. We want to keep the tax relief. And I think, you know, most people agree that the best thing to do is to just put it over for about two years, maybe into the next, uh, next election, past the next election. And then let's see where we go from there. But look, the worst thing we could do right now is increase taxes on the middle class. Let me also ask you uh, personally, many people now say that the Tea Party was a way and they've proven that they are here and they're here to stay. And you very well, Senator Hatch, may be next on the list to follow on the path, if you will, of Bob Bennett. You have on several Tea Party websites where they perhaps will target you because they believe you are not fiscally responsible and that you will not be willing to lead Republicans or help Republicans make those cuts that are necessary. What do you say to that? Well, of course I will, and I've done that my whole Senate service. That's a few radicals. I have to say that 80, 86 percent of the Tea Party people voted Republican. Most of them are good, decent, honorable people who are sick and tired of what's going on. They're tired of, of big government. They're tired of increased taxes. They're tired of the massive spending programs. They're tired of the federal government dominating everybody's lives when we have 50 states that uh, could do it better than the federal government. And in most instances, there are some things the federal government has to do, like national security but now the, uh, the tea party's been a very very good thing and don't worry i'm doing very fine out here in utah and i'm going to continue to do let fine. me ask you speaking again about the tea party and the cuts that uh that mo those people and many others quite honestly agree need to be made to make this an effective government uh, social security and medicare what needs to be done when it comes to those huge entitlements well we know that if we don't handle social security medicaid and medicare those three programs alone are two-thirds of the federal budget. And if we don't find a way of uh, keeping them under control, because Medicare alone is $38 trillion in unfunded liability, Medicaid's almost as bad, uh, Social Security's probably 11 or 12 so trillion. So what needs to We're be done? You will lead the Senate Finance Committee. What needs to be done? Well, we're still in the minority. It's going to have to be led by well, you the will Democrats likely, I and the say. president. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I, if I have my way, we're going to have to go into those programs, streamline them, do what has to be done in the best interest of our children, and and, and that means a lot of things. Everything from from uh, looking at uh, the age limits to looking at how much is paid to looking at how much is not going to be there in another 15 or 20 years if we don't do what's right. To to and it's going to take bipartisan work on both sides. It's going to take uh, our young people realizing there won't be anything there of great value to them if we don't make these changes now. But more importantly, if we don't make changes that are sophisticated decent, honorable, and workable, our country is not going to continue to be the greatest country in the world. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to working with Senator Baucus, who will be the chairman, and hopefully in 2012 we'll be able to take over the chairmanship. And if we do, I guarantee you we're going to solve those problems one way or the other. Senator Orrin Hatch, thank you for your time and reacting to the president just finished up as well. Thank you very much. And we want to hear from you. Do you think having a split Congress